Hello viewers, I am Kausalya. Today we are going to see another problem in block diagram reduction. So the problem is for a system represented by the block diagram shown in figure, evaluate the closer loop transfer function when the input R is at station 1. So here this is our given problem and in this problem consists of two stations, station 1 and station 2. That is these two are the input points and we are getting a final output here. So while solving this block diagram the first thing is they are asking to keep the input only at station 1. So here we have to consider input at station 1 alone. This means that we have to remove this point, remove this station 2. So our first step is here. I am having this station 1 here and the station 2 here is removed here. Okay, just I have removed this summing point. That's it. So, remaining the rest, all the blocks, all the summing points and branch points, everything remains same here. Right. This is our first step. And here, just count the number of summing points and branch points just to know. So, 1, 2, 3, so totally 3 summing points and 2 branch points. Branch point 1 and branch point 2. Right, that's it. Then our next step is moving the branch point 1 after the block G3. So here, this is our branch point. Right, I am going to move this branch point after the block G3. So, what is the procedure to move a branch point after the block? We have to include the reciprocal. So, here I am having this branch point, right? So, this branch point is moved after this block. So, whenever this branch point is moved after this block, I am including the reciprocal of this element, okay? Reciprocal of the element present here. Similarly, here, I am going to move this branch point after the block G3. So, I have to include the reciprocal of G3 to this branch point line. So, here I have included 1 by G3 and now this branch point is moved after this block G3. Right. This is our first step, step number 1. And the next one is eliminating the feedback loop and combining blocks in cascade. So first we go with eliminating the feedback loop. So here observe carefully this is your feed forward element and this is your feedback element. Now this forms a feedback loop and the type of feedback is negative. Right. So here our normal formula is G divided by 1 plus G H. That is this is your element G. This is your element H. So the type of feedback is negative feedback. So to include G by 1 plus GH is the formula. So in the place of G I am having G3. So G3 divided by 1 plus G3 into H2. That's all. So here the feedback loop is get eliminated. So this is our respective final equation. So write it. G3 divided by 1 plus G3 into H2. Right. And the next thing is here I am having two elements which are in series. So when elements are in series we have to just multiply. So here just multiply and write it as H3 by G3. This is our step number 2. Hope you all are clear with this. Right. And our next step is combining blocks in cascade. Now again you see. We are having these two blocks in series. So to reduce the blocks in series, we have to just multiply. So when you multiply, here you will be having G2, G3 divided by 1 plus G3, H2. And the feedback element here is H3 by G3. So why I am saying it as feedback? Because from the output, I am taking a branch point and I am having some element and again I am giving it to this input of this block. So, this is your feedback, right? So, step 3 is over and the next one is 
Step 4. So here step 4 is eliminating the feedback loop. So just now I explained right. This is your feed forward element and this is your respect to feedback. So this is your G and this is your H. So the solution will be G by 1 plus GH right. Because the type of feedback is negative. So we have to write it here plus. So in the place of G I am having G2 G3 divided by 1 plus G3 H2 right. The whole divided by 1 plus again in the place of G I am having G2 G3 divided by 1 plus G3 H2 which is multiplied by in the place of H I am having H3 by G3 right. So here G3 G3 will get cancelled. So and the remaining elements will be G2 G3 divided by 1 plus G3 H2 the whole term divided by just take LCM. So when you take LCM here you will be having 1 plus G3 H2 plus here G2 and H3 will be multiplied. So G2 H3 divided by 1, <coughs> 1 plus G3 H2 right. Here these two denominator terms will get cancelled and here the final output will be G2 G3 divided by 1 plus G3 H2 plus G2 H3 right. So now write this expression here in this block you will be having G2 G3 divided by 1 plus G3 H2 plus G2 H3 that's it. Now again these two blocks are in series. So just multiply these two elements. So here you will be having G1 G2 G3 divided by 1 plus G3 H2 plus G2 H3 right and here now again listen this is our feedback loop and the feedback element is H1 and the type of feedback is negative feedback. So again when you reduce in the place of um, G I am having this expression and in the place of H I am having H1. So this formula will be here it will be G1, G2, G3 divided by 1 plus G3, H2 plus G2, H3. Okay, this is our G. That is, this is your G and this is your H. So, in the place of G, again 1 plus G. So, G1, G2, G3 divided by 1 plus G3, H2 plus G2, H3 multiplied by the type of the feedback element here is H1. Right. So, just we have to take LCM. When you take LCM, the problem gets over here. So, I am writing here. We will be having G1, G2, G3 divided by 1 plus G3, H2 plus G2, H3 divided by 1 plus G3, H2 plus G2, H3 Plus just multiply these two terms. You will be having G1, G2, G3, H1. Entire term divided by 1 plus G3, H2 plus G2, H3. So here the denominator terms get cancelled. And the final output will be here. You will be having G1, G2, G3 divided by 1 plus G3, H2 plus G2, H3 plus G1, G2, G3, H1. So, this is our final output and this is our required transfer function. Right. So, here you are having input R and here you are having output C. Just in, when you write, you have to write it as output by input. Right. So, that, that is our closed loop transfer function. So, transfer function is equal to C of S by R of S which is equal to G1, G2, G3 divided by 1 plus G3, H2 plus G2, H3 plus G1, G2, G3, H1. So, this is our required transfer function. The problem gets over here. Hope you all understand. Thank you.